Good evening, everybody. So tonight we gonna talk about uh, something that it's gonna be really helping us a lot to understand life. There is two portions called Ahare Mot, means after death, and the second portion called Kedoshim, it means holy. So actually today teaching is a test. I need to check myself, each one, I'm supposed to check himself, if we can be holy, not after death, before death, because after death, everybody is holy. But before death, it's something that uh, it's very important to understand. So the reason, you know, that uh, always those two portions, when it's uh, not a leap year, it's those two, Tazriya Metzora and Zacharei Mot Kdoshim. It's always been like this. So now we need to understand, before we say after death, we're supposed to understand why we need to know after death. I think we're supposed to know about life, okay? Because we cannot just wait for someone to die to say that he's holy. So in the Zohar, Ahre Mot, whoever wants to read three verses, Lamed, Lamed Aleph, Lamed Bet. 30, 31, 32. And it says on Lamed, Vayomer Hashem el Moshe, Daber el Aaron Achicha, Ve'al Yavo B'Kol Ha'et El HaKodesh. It's a sentence from the Torah. Okay, Rabbi Shimon, and then Rabbi Shimon explaining it. And he says, all the streams, all the rivers is flowing into the sea, and the sea doesn't get full. What does it mean? So then he is explaining it for us. Amar Rabbi Shimon. So Rabbi Shimon says, I'm really wondering and I'm surprised on people of the world. Bnei Ha'olam. They don't have eyes to see. They don't have a heart that's going to supervise. Don't they know? And they don't pay attention to see and to look. What's really the desire of God? How they go and sleep, and they don't wake up before the final darkness. The final darkness, it says, Yechase Alem, that will cover them. Means, when it's the final darkness, when they put the person they bury in, the person that is getting buried. Ubala Pikadon, the landlord, comes and asks for his part. I want it back. You know, it's like a pawn shop. What do you do? <laughs> yeah, pick a don, they say. You give something, you get some money, you have to bring the money back or whatever, maybe a little bit. I'm not sure I never did it. And then you get your stuff back, right? So here he says, how come a person doesn't wake up and say, wait a minute, soon, the landlord's going to come and say, give me back what I gave you. So actually, we've been borrowed with the soul and everything, you know, they give us kids, they give us abundance, they give us life, they give us everything. And they say, okay, you have to pay it back. He says, I'm really surprised of people in this world. They don't. They don't see, they don't ask, they don't do, they go to sleep, they wake up, they don't even ask. What's going to happen? At the day that that person is going to be covered. So I think it's a test. So we need to understand what the Zohar is talking about. We need to understand, so what's life? It's life. We always uh, hold the cup and we say lechaim. Lechaim it means for life. But what's life? <laughs> So, you know, it's, it's, really, it's, it's really amazing. You see, the reason why we don't know anything about life, life. See, we think the word life is when this, there is people moving and working and coming home and sleeping and getting up in the morning and going to work again and eating and drinking. We call it life. I, I, I know we call it life, but that's not really the meaning because there is many people in Hebrew at least we say <laughs> when a person enjoying 
we call it Ose Chaim. He's making life. So can I get a bucket of life, please? Because you're doing it anyway, right? Ose Chaim in Hebrew. So yesterday they were laughing because they know Hebrew. Can you do life? Do? So can you do life? You can do a table or a chair or whatever. You can do physical. Life is not physical. 